So this video has absolutely nothing to do with the areas that we cover in South Carolina or with real estate, but I thought you would be interested in it anyways. What I have here in this box is a few items that I had imported from England. I think they came from London. These are candy items. So the first one I got strawberry and crushed black pepper mints from the botanical collection. So when I see strawberry and crushed black pepper, that's a combination that I've never seen here. And I'm assuming that's just not very American. However, <laughs> those are two things that I like. And um, I have a feeling this could actually be really good. And I can definitely distinctly detect the strawberry and the black pepper. The black pepper is a little bit faint, but let's try one of these out. Strawberry and crushed black pepper. Yeah, so 100% tastes like a strawberry cigar. Simpkins family over three generations using original recipes and methods. Only the finest all natural ingredients ensures world famous taste that they're famed for and have been enjoyed by the aristocracy and many royal households the world over since 1921. How about that? Out here eating candy amongst the royal families and the aristocracy. Well, you know what? I'm gonna tell you this, not bad at all. Now I know I said strawberry cigars, and it's true. Sorry, it's really hard to talk while eating this giant mint. It's definitely strawberry cigars, but in a really good way. It's really, I mean, cigars have a nice smell to them. And these are really nice. I would, I would eat these and I will eat these because I have a whole jar. Yeah, these are very nice. All right, on to the next one. By the way, while I'm opening this, I got an email when I ordered this after it shipped that said it was from USPS from customs. It said that uh, it couldn't clear customs without verification of my zip code. And I needed to send them money, at which point I said, well, if it just doesn't come, it wasn't meant to be. They came. I didn't send the money. So just telling y'all, don't be so quick to fall for stuff and send money to people. A lot of people scamming folks. So maybe it was them. Maybe they decided to send it anyways. All right, now this is a big Turk. And the reason why I got this, because I've actually never had Turkish Delight, which was made popular through the C.S. Lewis-inspired film um, Chronicles of Narnia, The Witch in the Wardrobe. No corn syrup. Black carrot concentrate in this. If I understand correctly, corn syrup is not really something that's really used in other countries. I, I don't know. Anyways, smells chocolatey. So the chocolate is your typical Nestle chocolate. Y'all are familiar with that. Super chewy jelly substance. Not a lot of flavor, but it's like a faint raspberry flavor. That's what it is. It's kind of like a, yeah, it's like a Nestle chocolate covered raspberry jelly bar. This was the one I was most excited about though. These are Cola Sour Patch Kids. In fact, it was this candy that started this whole process because I didn't even know these were a thing. Sour Patch Kids would have to be my favorite candy. And I didn't know that these existed. And I said, oh, I gotta go find those, but you could only get them in England. So that's how all this came about. Sour Patch Kids Cola, I already, I already suspect that these are gonna be fantastic. I, I don't know how they couldn't be. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shoot, I ripped the whole bag. Now I gotta eat all of them. Here it is. Typical Sour Patch Kid, cola. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's nothing to not like about these. They are exactly what you think they're gonna be. In fact, a little bit more even. There's actually a little bit more of that citric acid sour coating that comes on the Sour Patch Kid on these, it seems, than what you normally get in an American bag. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10. These are fantastic. All right, so there you have it, random British snacks. I bought these from BritishFoodShop.com if you want to check them out. They got all kinds of stuff. You might find something that interests you. Try these. This, you could probably do without, and you definitely want to try these. So the plan will be to get back to our regular content next week. I appreciate y'all tuning in. God willing, we'll see you on the next video.